So now we are ready to create our first project in Android Studio. So click on the start a new Android Studio project. And it will take you a screen like this. It will ask you an application name, a company domain, a project location and a package name. So as an application name, I will name it my first Kotlin. Okay, so I'm going to write this in Kotlin. Company domain is actually, if you have a company, if you have a website to this company, you can just type them in here. But if you don't have any, just type your name dot example dot com, or maybe uh, you can just delete this example and write your own name dot com. I uh, know it's up to you and it really doesn't matter. But what really matters is that this package name, so it has to be unique. So if you just, uh, it just takes the company domain and reverses it like com dot your name dot your, your application name. So it has to be unique to your uh, application. So it really doesn't matter, but uh, it will be is seen by Google Play, Google Developers. So just find a nice identifying name for yourself. Project location is where you save your projects. So it really uh, is the default for you to use, uh, save these projects into your Android Studio projects folder. But if you want to save this on to desktop or anything, uh, you're more than welcome to do so. You can just click on here and choose where you're going to save your projects. Okay. So if you want to include these other development um, programming languages support in here, you have to choose it from here. We don't want C++, but we rather want Kotlin. So I'm going to choose Kotlin support and click on next. So here uh, is the important part. So when you are developing a mobile application, you have to choose uh, the minimum SDK that you're targeting. So what does it mean? So if I choose KitKat, it says by targeting this KitKat, your app will run approximately 90% of the devices that is run on Android. But if I choose Marshmallow, for instance, it reduces the amount to 40 uh, or 39.3%. So it's really a trade off. If you want to use Android O specific features in your applications, you can choose Android O. Uh, if you want to build uh, only, if you want to build your application um, in such specific way that you will want only people using Android O uh, can run your application, you may choose to do so. but it will run on less than 1% of the devices. So conversion rate when Android releases new um, versions is actually really low. Uh, if you're coming from iOS development, uh, in iOS, this is really high. When iOS releases new version, everybody upgrades to it. But in Android, this is not the case. So make sure you will uh, choose the right Android uh, version in order to target uh, the most amount of people, uh, the most effective way. So you will uh, reach a large amount of people with uh, a good amount of technology. Okay. But in our examples, I will always choose Android O because I'm, I'm going to write in Kotlin, I'm, 
and teaching the Android all development and everything. Uh, but if you're going to create something that you will put on Google Play and uh, you're targeting to reach a mass amount of people, I think you can choose Lollipop or something. Okay, and if uh, if you're going to use something related uh, just specific to Android though, then you can just choose for yourself. So I'm not going to develop anything related to VR on television and other things, uh, but I'm just going to develop something for phone and tablet. So I'm clicking on next. So in here, we are adding an activity. An activity is actually something like screen. So what our users see on screen is actually what we put in our activities. Like we have, we can choose an empty activity or we can choose a bottom navigation activity which brings up some bottom navigation bar for us. We can choose some Google Maps activity even and it will just uh, display a screen with full of Google Maps and the other things but uh, I will generally choose empty activity from here and I will add the other things by myself like in basic activity you can see there is a menu in here but even if I want a menu I will I will choose to do it with an empty activity throughout the course so we will learn how to do it how to implement it by ourselves so I'm choosing the empty activity and in here I can just uh, name rename my activities like if I have more than one activity like sign up activity feed activity upload activity I will name them so but I will have one in this particular case so I'm not going to uh, change anything here and click on finish and uh, the Android Studio will uh, create some project files and actually create my first application first uh, project for me and here we go we have our first project Let's stop here and within the next lecture we're going to see what all of this means.